leaking a blood red substance. It also happens to be home to one of the most alien life forms we have ever discovered. Why is this water flowing almost 10 degrees below the freezing point of water? Blood force is a rush of blood from some invisible wound despite its crimson hue. In 1911, the red tint of the frozen waterfall has discovered and supposed to be due to algae when geologists first discovered it. The Taylor Glacier encased a small pool of water with an ancient population of bacteria about 2 million years ago. They have been trapped behind a thick ice layer ever since and sealed inside a natural time capsule. These bacteria, which evolved independently of the rest of the biological world and survive in a region with no light, free oxygen or heat, and are virtually the definition of primordial ooze. The imprisoned lake is considered as salinity rich an eye-rich place which calls for the crimson color of the cascade. The subglacial lake can flow out via a fracture in the glacier, generating the falls without harming the ecology. The existence of the blood falls ecosystem demonstrates that life can thrive even in the harshest of environments. Though it's tempting to draw the parallel, it doesn't rule out of the possibility of life on other worlds with similar conditions and frozen bodies of water such as Mars and Jupiter's moon Europa because life would have to emerge from an entirely different chain of events. Blood Falls in Antarctica is a sight to behold both visually and scientifically, even if it does not prove the existence of extraterrestrial life. The hue was first considered as red algae, but research published in the Journal of Glaciology discovered its genuine source by scanning the strata of ice from which the river flows with radar. A team of scientists, including National Geographic emerging explorer Aaron Sipetid, made the finding. There are falls that flow from Taylor Glacier in Antarctica's McMurdo Dry Valleys as well as the liquid bubbles up through fractures in the glacier's top. Because the average temperature is 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 17 degrees Celsius and little glacier melting can be detected at the surface, the flow was previously a mystery. When Taylor first saw blood falls, he assumed the coloration was caused by crimson algae. The blood, as scientists now know it, is an iron-rich salty liquid that oozes from a pool beneath glacier. The liquid oxidizes when it reaches the surface, giving it a rusty appearance. Thor is a god associated with lightning, thunder, and storms, sacred groves, and strength. Through the cinema creations, Thor is popularized. Next. Thor's well is also an amazing phenomenon as the cinema creations. It was discovered in 2005 by hikers situated on the west coast of the United States, and it continues to attract visitors. It is sitting on the edge of the Oregon coast. Thor's well is kind of a gigantic hole, surprising salt water fountain. It is also called as gapping sinkhole, drain pipe of the Pacific, even a gate to hell. Thor's well is shown as the bottomless sinkhole. Actually, it's not bottomless. However, it is very dangerous natural wonder. Surrounding area is extremely dangerous. It appears as bubbling, churning drain hole. 
as the wave of geologists this wandering phenomenon creates by collapsing the ceiling of a sea cave. Massive current gets drawn the water and is spouted back out with a 20 feet depth and 10 feet weight shown the depression along the shoreline. Visitors become speechless with the wandering phenomenon. This well connects directly to the nearby sea. Water influxing into and out of the hole happens through the opening. High tides and frequent storms create the water fountains. Oregon's coast concedes dark basalts. These are oceanic igneous rocks formed from molten magma. Subterranean caves and cavities are carved due to constantly flowing and colliding water from the ocean and underground. Continuous swallowing happens with the help of forming most comprehended caves. Action varies during low tide and high tide. During winter months or storms, visitors can get a full illusion of the ocean. By activating the tide roll, waves flow into the bottom of the well. Continuous filling and draining of those well is a rare incident. In the calm situation, circular hole can be easily seen and muscles cling to the rocky sides. People can visit it but be careful to do it. It is extremely dangerous in nature with powerful waves and slippery rocks. Amazing phenomenon of those well make the attraction of tourists. Visitors who visit it without adequate knowledge of the danger can cause to unfortunate death also. Powerful water flows and slippery conditions remain around the site. Capturing is not a simple task. Photographers should care about the sharp and slippery rocks, high tide conditions. Beautiful scenes can capture through the daring photographer. Scientists have several hypotheses behind the thaw's well. Major one related the origin firstly formed the sea cave due to the wave action and collapse inward roof happens due to ongoing erosion. This wandering well is also a fountain. Water spirals move deep to hole at high tide. Then water comes back out sometimes reached to 20 feet height. It happens according to the rhythm. We are willing to take the adventurous experiences but we have to be careful at these moments. giant water lily. Uh, the amazing plant with leaves reaching one and a half meters in diameter. That is to demonstrate how strong the leaves are. Amazing Victoria Amazonica. All true art and science stem from a mysterious source. Can you believe leaves hold human beings? It's amazing. I'm sure a lot of people never heard about it. It's the world's largest leaf. It's native to Brazil. It was discovered in Bolivia in 1801. First, it was named as Ergel Amazonica. However, during the time of Queen Victoria, it was changed as Victoria Amazonica by John Lindley. It's also called as giant water lily, Amazonic water lily, or royal water lily. It's the largest water lily in the world and the national flower of Guyana. Giant water lily belongs to family Nymphiaceae. They grow in best in calm water and are perennial in tropical zones. Vigorous growing can be seen when anchored through an organically rich loam. It can remain as a perennial when water temperature remains above 75 Celsius. They are called as angry teenagers. They don't like to share their space with others. Extra large leaves don't provide space to others and no sunlight is able to filter through the water beneath them. Giant water lily is popularized by the leaves. 
It shows very rapid growth like 20 inches per day. If we measure leaves, it will show around 10 feet diameter. They are floating on the water surface. It's grown with round shape and edges are upturned to form a rim. Upper side shows in yellow green color and beneath has copper red color. Leaves have water repellent action due to the waxing nature on the upper surface. Trapping air between ribs on the underside of the leaf. It gives a floating property to the leaf. That's a long submerged stalk with 26 feet length. On the side of leaves and stem has sharp spines. It provides self-defense property. Plants are protected from fish-like herbivores due to this mechanism. They can carry around 40-75 kg with the support of tubular network of underside of the leaves. Giant water lily is an amazing flower. We can say it's same to soccer ball in size. It shows around 40 cm diameter. Flower spends 2 days or 48 hours to fully open. During summer, they emit butterscotch and pineapple scent. They show symbiotic relationship between scarab beetles. At night, flower is white in color. It needs to pollinate. Fragrance attracts beetles during night. They trapped inside the flower and spend the night there. Following day, flower turn to pink color. Then releasing pollen covered beetles. No more fragrant emission. Beetles go for another flower. Beetles contribute to do the pollination. After that, pink flower is drawn into water until develop a seed. Giant water lily grows only from seeds. They show specific adaptations. Rims in the leaves help to protect the plants from the predators like birds. They grow in specific habitat has shallow water of the amazing river basin. When we talk about the importance of the organism to the ecosystem, positive effects, water lily seeds used as food source in Central Americans, in Paraguay as ornamental plant in botanical gardens, negative effect is other plants and algae can't live under that. Sad to say, giant water lily is an endangered species. Most of people don't know about it. Researchers try to explore more and develop new cultivars. We need to go forward to protect this mysterious thing. Imagine a river, hot enough to kill you. It's the Shanai Timpishka, the boiling river of the Amazon. Amazing boiling river. Can you believe egg boils just by adding it to natural river water? It is the hottest river in the world named as Boiling River in Peru. Lots of people don't believe it rather than visit it. The Boiling River is located in the central Peruvian Amazon. It is up to 25 meters width and 6 meters depth and runs burning hot for an incredible 6.24 kilometers. The river's average temperature is 86 degrees Celsius or 187 degrees Fahrenheit, which is not quite boiling but certainly close enough. Temperature can range anywhere from 110 degrees to scalding water at 140 degrees or more. It's not a legend. The most wandering part is sheer size. True name is Shanai Tempeshka, according to local shamans, with the meaning of boiling with the heat of the sun. There are nice stories built around this. 
If we think Earth is like a human body with four lines and cracks running through it like arteries. These earth arteries are filled with hot water and when they reach the surface, geothermal phenomena such as the Boydin River occur. Chemical analysis found the river water is originally fell as rain. Some secrets were revealed thanks to the National Geographic Young Explorers Grant. The water is boiled not by the sun but by four to fade hot springs. There are three main hypotheses related to the river. Some people believe it happens due to volcanic action, but there is no volcano closer to it. It is not a volcanic creation. Its water comes from the bottom of the earth. The fully natural phenomenon is related to it. It is very hot. We can make tea by directly using this hot water. And also, we can boil eggs for the breakfast. It is too hot. When someone goes closer to it, can feel fainting. Some people believe this place is not natural. They think it is the result of an oil field accident. Russo hypothesized that this happens far upstream heated up by Earth's geothermal energy. According to them, this system is part of a massive hydrothermal system that has never been seen before on the planet. However, it is a natural feature, a non-volcanic geothermal feature flowing at abnormally high rates. Russo did experiments in recent years studying the river with the permission of the local shaman. In the lab, he studied its surrounding ecosystem and water in the hopes of determining what was going on. Animals fall into rivers slowly and start to boil and death frequently. The animals can no longer swim, they are going to be cooked due to the water filling into their mouths and lungs. Russo has worked with the Spencer Wells and Jonathan Eisen biologists and discovered brand new species that have the ability to survive the heat. After heavy rainfalls, people do swim in the river when it's diluted with cold water. We can't forget the Boiling River book. It is the book called on Russo's adventures and he wished to spread the news about the unique system and he wanted to save from loggers and developers. Because we do live in a world where shamans still sing to the spirits of the jungle, where rivers do boil and where legends do come to life. China. China's Panjin Red Beach, one of the world's most uncommon sites, is located within an extensive wetland on the Diahi River's bank in Leonin province. This 132 square kilometer coastal nature reserve is home to more than 260 bird species, 399 other animal species, and of course, an almost surreal environment. The stunning crimson blanket resembles the human body's blood arteries and veins. Seaweed is responsible for the deep red color. Swerda salsa is the scientific name for this plant and its life cycle will begin in April or May. This type of seaweed is one of the most uncommon in the world as seaweed does not usually change color. The Swerda genus is halophytic, meaning it thrives in salty settings. The Riahi River sediment promotes the growth of seaweed. Some halophytes are alkaline tolerant succulents that, like seagrass on the ocean floor, absorb a variety of minerals and chemicals from the water and soil. This one, however, is crimson due to its alkaline tolerance. Scientists are intrigued by the plant's extraordinary ability to live in severe settings. But the plant's potential as a fuel is even more interesting. 
The majority of biodiesel scholarly articles are based on Sweda's research. The threatened red crowned crane, the world's rarest crane species, can also be seen on red wheat. As a result, it has evolved into a bird sanctuary for a variety of different species, including white stalks and black beaked cows. Birds traveling from Eastern Asia to Australia use it as a rest stop. The abundance of fish and midden crabs, as well as the wetlands and spoiled surroundings, making it an ideal stopover and long term habitation. This one, however, does. In the spring and summer, it turns a beautiful jade green, then turns vivid crimson from August to October. It turns purple as winter approaches before dying. The wetlands proximity to the coastline where the soil is both very saline and highly alkaline causes this otherworldly a specific chemical reaction. The beach which is inaccessible to the public save for a 2000 meter weaving promenade has been rigorously protected by the Chinese government since 1988. The red beet, on the other hand, is significant for people. Short grain rice and bamboo shoots thrive well in the fertile soil. Reeds, which also thrive here, are used to make paper. The beet is also close to China's third largest oil resource, and the government goes to great pains to ensure that industrial pollution does not harm the environment. The city of Panjin is only 30 km away and after the world has returned to some semblance of normalcy, add this magnificent site to your list of must-see destinations. According to CNN, the location is home to 260 species of birds and is known for rice and bamboo shoots in addition to the red beach. Depending on where you are on mainland China, you can reach Pantin via bus or rail according to Travel China Guide. When you arrive, use the approved walkway through the marshes to enjoy the beach's magnificence. White Tomocales in New Zealand White Tomocales in New Zealand Cales are twinkling like the stars in the night sky. How can a cave illuminate just like a star night? Isn't it exciting? In 1888, these cales were explored in details for the first time by Tintinora, a local Maori chieftain of the Kauhia tribe. He discovered that the roof of the chaos was glowing like tiny stars in the night sky. It was an amazing view to see. The millions of tiny inhabitant insects were attached to the wall of the chaos. They were glowing just like stars. The glow that they emit together with the darkness of the chaos made the night sky wave. The combination of a variety of creatures made this amazing illumination inside these scales. As a result of this mind-blowing illumination, the chaos got its name Whitemo Glowworm Chaos. Even though the name mentioned it as glowworms, those tiny creatures are not worms. These tiny creatures are the larva stage of fungus gnats. They are a small and delicate type of flies who feed on fungi. Once the lava hatched, they started to spin the strings of the sticky web from the cave roof. The light which is emitted from the body of these tiny creatures brings several advantages to their survival. Those are help to catch prey, survive from predators, help to find mates. Along the web fibers, they leave sticky mucus globules. They look just like hanging glass beads necklaces which starts from the cave ceiling. There is a gland which looks like an orb in their tails. That gland emits the amazing blue light. Simply, their backside is glowing and together they make the night sky wave inside the cave. 
there is a chemical called luciferin can be found in these globin creatures in white caves. That chemical binds with oxygen and then undergoes a chemical reaction in the presence of an enzyme called luciferase. This chemical reaction process is known as bioluminescence. Even though this bioluminescence process occurs in several different creatures such as fireflies, crystal jellyfish, bioluminescent bobtail squid, and anglerfish, the nature and the structure of the luciferine chemical and luciferase enzyme is vary among the different organisms. It means that the luciferine and luciferase contained in these glowworms in the white caves are unique.